Ladies, domestic violence is not a joke. Ashley Bird, age 35, gunned down by her husband, age 39, married for 13 years and one kid. Uh, God bless her and the family. Damn. morning, the new details are that that suspect is now dead. Uh, law enforcement actually found their body in Orange County overnight. Now, I should mention that there is no threat to the public, uh, but law enforcement is still trying to gather more information, evidence, and uh, really trying to figure out what sparked this crime. But I do want to get to some video here to show you what the scene looked like yesterday morning because it all started inside a house on the 800 block of La Presa Avenue in Spring Valley. Police received a nine when one call from a family member that a woman had been shot. When deputies arrived on scene, they found a woman dead on a couch. Investigators later confirmed that the woman had suffered some sort of trauma to the upper body and did not survive. Her name is not being released at this time as the medical examiner's office is still waiting for a positive identification. Lieutenant Krug with the San Diego Sheriff's Department later told CBS aid about a person of interest in the case. However, no arrest had been made at that time. So back out here, outside of the uh, Sheriff's Department headquarters just to clarify that suspect has been found dead in Orange County and no other suspect or interest uh, is, uh, excuse me, no uh, person of interest is being connected to this incident. But for now, that is the latest information that we have on this crime. I'm in Kearney Mesa. And they just keep coming. For Patty Weber, the pain is mixed with a lingering shock a day after her daughter, 35-year-old Ashley Bird, was killed in her Spring Valley home. Weber says her daughter, who worked for an internet advertising company, was inside on a Zoom call with a co-worker when suddenly an interruption. She said, hey, Eddie, I have to leave. Someone's trying to get in my front door. You could hear fighting noises. Ashley never returned. Her co-worker contacting Weber with another family member eventually calling the sheriff's department. Deputies say Ashley was found on the couch. She had been shot and died at the scene. Weber says she was informed by authorities the shooter was Ashley's husband of nearly 13 years, Chris Bird. Infidelity. He lived a double life. Weber tells us in October her daughter became certain of her husband's infidelity. Ashley filed for divorce. Their divorce was about to be final and he had just gotten the final documents. He was losing control of Ashley. And he didn't like the fact he was losing control. The couple had a nine-year-old son. Weber says Chris picked him up from school and after the shooting, dropped him off with his brother near Camp Pendleton. He left and he killed himself a mile down the road. Weber says Chris could be controlling, but says the couple never fought, actually dismissing any ideas of him being violent. He wouldn't hurt me. Never, Mom. So she never saw this coming. One day later, Ashley's family now grieving a woman they call kind, caring, and a dedicated mom. Ashley's sister, Allison. She woke up every day living for her son. A son now without two parents. It breaks my heart even worse than losing a daughter. It's him losing his mom and dad. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. The custody situation has not been settled, but Weber says her large family will rally around her grandson to support him. A GoFundMe campaign has been set up to help with funeral and other expenses, and there is a link on our homepage. A crucial reminder here, help is available. If you or anyone you know is a victim of domestic violence, you can call the phone number there on your screen or simply text the word START to 88788. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.